Well, several landowners in Gem County have called our newsroom worried about natural gas exploration in their area. Jacqueline Powell finds out what drilling could mean for landowners in her Truth Squad investigation. Near Emmett, these small, brightly colored flags are raising some big flags. As far as I'm concerned, these little flags are just the beginning of a very bad, very, very bad scenario. Martha Gaynor is proud that her three acres outside of Emmett is a registered wildlife habitat with all of the natural resources needed to raise her animals and provide for any deer, foxes, quail, or others that might wander onto her property. And I'm afraid they're not going to come back because they're going to see all this other stuff going on. And that's my concern about all these little orange and pink sticks in the ground that I'm seeing around the property. There aren't any on hers, but on all the lots surrounding this wildlife refuge, there are. That's because Gaynor's neighbors gave permission for oil company Alta Mesa to test for natural gas under their land by tracking seismic activity. But that's about all Gaynor and others say they know. Several landowners who didn't want to be on camera told me they haven't received much information about the project. They're worried Jim County could become a destination for large-scale oil and gas exploration. So I followed several of these testing trucks and asked for answers. Can you tell me what you're doing with these flags out here? No comment. Some others just drove away before I could even ask. Can I ask you why everyone's being so secretive? No one will tell me what's going on. Everybody's driving away when I come up. We're not allowed to speak to, the, to anybody. But this man did direct me to Alta Mesa's Idaho spokesman, John Foster. We're going to see good benefits to the community as a result of what's happening out there. The testing is just the first phase of exploration for natural gas. Each flag surrounded by wires marks where data is collected each time sound waves are sent thousands of feet down in the ground. Computers then map out where there's likely to be natural gas. And then the company begins acquiring permits to lease these underground areas for drilling. That's where things get tricky. Sometimes we're exploring for minerals underground and the person who owns the surface up top, they're not the same people. In Idaho, many properties don't include mineral rights, which is the ground underneath a plot of land. The state owns those mineral rights and can auction them off to companies without permission from the landowner. I'll show you how it works. Say this bowl represents a reservoir of natural gas and it falls under several plots of land with an owner here, here, and here. If the state owns all of the mineral rights underneath these properties and leases them out to an oil company, then that company only needs to find one landowner who's willing to lease out some surface land to put in a well. Say these two aren't okay with the drilling under their home, but this one is and allows a well to go in his backyard. Once the well's in, it works like a straw and can extract all of what's under these properties without the surface owner's consent. But even in cases where a surface owner does hold his or her own mineral rights, there could still be a way of getting around a landholder who won't permit the drilling. When there's a majority of mineral owners within a unit that want to develop the resource and they want to basically cash in on their mineral resource that, that they own, that that wouldn't necessarily get hung up by uh, one or two or a few mineral owners who aren't consenting. Spokeswoman for Idaho's Department of Lands, Emily Callahan, says even if a few landowners say no, if an oil company can secure agreements to lease with the majority of mineral rights holders, it can request a hearing with the state's Oil and Gas Commission to gain access anyway. If the company finds gas and sells it, then every landowner, even those who didn't consent, shares in the profit. But Gaynor, who believes she does own the mineral rights to her land, doesn't care about the compensation. That's not acceptable. I don't think anybody has a right to encroach on anybody's land at all, period. Gaynor says she also worries about the possible impact on the environment. But Alta Mesa and the state say some people may confuse drilling and fracking. With fracking, workers break rock and use controversial chemicals to draw out trapped natural gas. Some claim it can pose a risk to well water and cause earthquakes. But in Idaho, companies say they can get the gas through the regular drilling process. It's done in a very safe, responsible way. The Department of Land says Idaho's rules and regulations for drilling are conservative compared to other states. And Alta Mesa promises the opportunity to reap substantial economic benefits is there as well. We wouldn't be out there doing this project if we didn't think there was something there that, to, that was worth finding. Jacqueline Powell, KB WI2 News. And Idaho brought in more than $2 million last year for leasing the mineral rights for oil and gas exploration. In Payette County, 15 wells are already producing natural gas. Add those to the ones we could see in Gem County, and that amounts to millions more for the state. And we are told that most of that money goes toward education.